Uh, hello again. Uh, I'm back with another example of, uh, you know, velocity analysis, you know, using the instantaneous center of zero velocity. So here we are given velocity of two points on this uh, kind of double pulley, uh, double disc uh, object, ro rotating object. Velocity of A, you see, is on a rack and where the rack actually is not a stationary, the rack is moving to the left with a velocity of two feet per second. So we are given velocity of A uh, to be two feet per second. So given velocity of A to be two feet per second, as you could see, that's to the left. That's velocity of A. And then velocity of B is also given to be 4 feet per second due to the motion given to that rope attached to the uh, inner portion of this double pulley. So this is velocity of B, which is 4 feet per second. Now if we draw this actually to the proportion of the 2 and 4, uh, our objective is here actually is to find velocity of O. And we want to use the instantaneous center uh, approach. And this is actually a special case where if you are given velocity of two points on a body and they are parallel to one another, and in this case different magnitudes, and, but they are going in the opposite direction. So the way we locate the instantaneous center is by uh, connecting actually A to B, right? And then connecting the extremities of the two velocities. The point of intersection of uh, these two red lines, I'm going to call it point C, and that becomes the instantaneous center. So now you could visualize as if this body is in pure rotation about uh, actually point C, as if C is the pivot point. Uh, and all we need to determine, by the way, once we figure out omega of this body, which is clearly this guy is rotating uh, clockwise, then we should be able to use the instantaneous center and find velocity of the center, uh, which is point O. So I need actually the dimension uh, between C to A or C to B. If I find that dimension, I could either use velocity of A or velocity of B. So let me show you how we're going to do that. All we need to do is actually draw a, a triangle like this. So I'm going to draw it down here for you. But you see this distance uh, from here to here is actually the two feet plus one feet, that's three feet. And if you look at here, that's actually C and that's point A right here. Now notice also that this distance is the sum of the 4 and 2, so that's actually 6, the two velocities. And this distance here, from here to here, is actually the velocity of A2. So if you use similar triangles in this case, basically trying to say, what is the slope of this guy? Uh, the slope is rise over run, so it's 3 over 6. That should be the same as the slope if you use this a smaller triangle here, right? CA divided by 2. So from here, CA just becomes 1. So once you have CA, then you could say, OK, uh, if you wanted to find velocity of A, what would be velocity of A? Velocity of A would be R omega, but R is from the center to point A times omega. And since velocity of A, we already know, is 2 feet per second, and CA we just determined to be 1 foot. So therefore, omega from here becomes 2. Once you have omega, and we know it's going counterclockwise, uh, clockwise rather, sorry, and that's in radians per second, right? Uh, then finding velocity of O is very easy. By the way, velocity of O is also in the same proportion, so this would be velocity of O. You just have to connect to that line. So velocity of O in this case becomes also R omega. What is R? R is from C to O times omega. Uh, and since CO is also one foot, based on what we just calculated for CA, then velocity of O becomes one times two radians per second. So that becomes two feet per second 
and as you could see, that's to the right. And you could see it's the same proportion. So velocity of O and velocity of A is equal because they are at the same distance from the center of rotation. So you see, actually, the instantaneous center is a very effective, easy way uh, of calculating for angular velocity and velocity of different points. So now let's say at this instant, if you want to find velocity of some other point, I'm not going to actually calculate it, calculate it but I'm going to just going to show you the direction. So for example, let's say if you want to find velocity of a point here, say velocity of point D. So how do you do that? You connect from the center of rotation to point D, and then velocity of D has to be 90 degree to that uh, radius. And the way you calculate that velocity of D is just by multiplying radius, which is CD times omega of two radians per second. Uh, I will show you more examples of the instantaneous center in the uh, future videos. Thank you for uh, watching and listening.